All right, let's take our parent function, y equals the sine of theta, and alter it to become the child function, y equals one-half the sine of two theta. So again, my parent function had zeros at zero pi, two pi, a maximum at pi over two, and a minimum at three pi over two. The one-half here affects my amplitude, tells me that my amplitude is one-half. That means that my y maximum will be at one-half, my y minimum will be at negative one-half. So I'm going to need to add those labels over here on my y-axis. Then, remember I always take two pi and put it over the b value. In this case, my b value was two. Two pi over two reduces to just pi, which means that the period is a length of pi, which means that we should see two full waves. Let's begin by putting in our one-half and negative one-half on our y-axis. Then, let's look at changing the length of the period. Remember, visually, we can give ourselves these invisible lines should use a straight edge, but I can't hold the straight edge and the camera and the pen all at once, so pretend I used a ruler, okay. And remember, what this tells me is that between these two dotted lines, I'm going to need to see one full wave, and between these two dotted lines, I'm going to need to see another full wave, which is why we'll see two full waves. But remember, I'm also changing my height. I'm only going to go up half as far, and down half as far. So the zeros are still very consistent. Remember we have one, two, three, four, five key points. The first, third, and fifth are zeros. So my first, third, and fifth are zeros. My second point is my maximum. My second point needs to go right in between these two, so it'll be at pi over four, but now my maximum, remember, is only one-half, so it'll go right here. My minimum is my fourth point. My fourth point has to go right smack in between my third and fifth point, so that's at three pi over four, but my minimum, again, is now at negative one-half. So here's one of my two waves. I'm going to repeat this pattern in the second section, from here to here. So first, third, and fifth are zeros. Right smack dab in the middle for the second point is my maximum at one half. Right smack dab in the middle is my fourth point for my minimum at negative one half. Play connect the dots as smoothly as I can. Put in my labels one over four, three over four, five over four, and seven over four. Don't forget to throw in the pies in the numerator. And we're done.